Here is my Mauser Yugoslav Model 48 chambered in 8mm. This rifle is a $300 rifle and I'll just go ahead and talk about it real quick, show a couple details on the Mauser. And first off, I think Mauser is the number two best rifle in the surplus market. And uh, the reason I say number two is because I still feel the Springfield 1903 is number one. Now you might say, well, how can the Springfield 1903 be number one when it's basically a, rough, a rifle copied from the action of a Mauser like this? And the reason I say the 1903 is number one just due to the 30 out 6 round has a little bit more oomph than the 8mm. And the fact that the uh, 1903, even though it is a direct copy, there is some improvements. Namely, the sight system was an improvement. The magazine disconnect system, I feel, was an improvement. And uh, just some small changes to the ergonomics of the stocks and whatnot on the 1903. That's just my opinion, and everybody's entitled to it. So if you disagree, that's fine. Again, that's just my little uh, amateur opinion on the matter. But the Mauser, number two, I love these rifles. Uh, Mausers are awesome rifles. You owe it to yourself if you've never fired a Mauser before. Get behind one, fire it. You'll enjoy it, especially the 8mm, which is what this is right here. Uh, the 8mm cartridge is a pretty accurate cartridge. It'll reach out and touch pretty well. And uh, it's known for having that loud crack as far as the report goes, and it does thump you a little bit. It's not exactly a light recoiling rifle. Um, some people's ideas may vary on that. I don't mind the recoil. I like heavy recoiling rifles so it doesn't bother me. Uh, for you smaller statured people or if you're prone to shoulder problems, if you are going to fire a Mauser, you might want to get a shoulder pad or something like that. Don't let your ego get in the way. There's no need to hurt yourself uh, just for the sake of shooting a rifle. But the Mauser 8mm, again, it's a very inexpensive cartridge. There's a lot of them on the surplus market right now. Go on the internet, look it up. You can get a lot of surplus rounds, and you can get a lot of newer made rounds. And, uh, of course, you know, those vary as far as accuracy is concerned. If you want to get really accurate with the Mauser, you might be better off with newer rounds, or better yet, reload. Do your own reloads. Find out what works for you and your rifle, and you can end up with a very extremely accurate rifle. Even more accurate than it is in its standard setting using standard mil-spec ammo. But uh, just to show you a couple things on the Mauser, again, it's really uh, it's a really simple rifle. It's really elegant in design. It's streamlined. It's not bulky at all. You can see the top here. This is the famous Mauser action, copied by many, including the Springfield. It has the simple ladder bar sight starting at 200 meters going all the way out to 2,000 meters and of course the 2,000 meter setting. Uh, it's kind of a thing of the past, you never see that on rifles these days, but that's basically the concept was uh, volley fire. You could put out long range volley fire, get a whole bunch of guys lined up with Mausers such as this, and uh, you can still be effective at really long distances, at least in a suppressive uh, type mindset. The bolt, standard turn bolt design right here. It's an angled bolt, and it's uh, some of the Mausers have the straight bolt. This one is a turn bolt, or probably more correctly termed an angle bolt. And it's up to you on what design you want. The straight bolt is more akin to like the Mosin Nagants, and you see that on Turkish Mausers, and I believe some of the VZ, the Czechoslovakian Mausers, have them. I'm not sure if the older Yugo 2447s have them. I can't remember. I think they do also. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's up to you. I like the angled bolts better. That's just my preference. This is more in line with like the Car 98, the original German design. The bolt, very smooth to operate. Five round internal uh, magazine, very reliable. The takedown is right here. Push this lever out and this bolt can come out. Push the lever out and let's see, I'll go ahead and demonstrate for you. You can see the bolt comes right out. Slide the bolt back in, and there you go. Very easy design. The safety on this rifle is right here. The safety, you just turn up like so. There, your rifle is on safe. And then turn it back, and your rifle's on fire. 
The striker is an external striker, as you see right there. Watch closely as I pull the trigger, engage the sear. Bang. Striker drops and the round fires. It's a pretty safe rifle to fire. Uh, I never really heard many issues with these rifles going boom in the owner's hands. Uh, there's different older Mausers out there, Spanish Mausers, uh, that may have had some issues. The old uh, Spanish 7.62 Mausers had some issues. The Mauser designs, but uh, these robust 8mm, I haven't heard any of the issues. Uh, unless it's maybe a user-created issue, like maybe reloading too hot, or uh, some type of operator error, squib load, uh, obstruction in the barrel. But uh, just to show you near the muzzle of this rifle, just to show some details on the muzzle, you can see here, typical Mauser design. It has the hooded front sight post. See, it has very clean uh, muzzle right there. You don't want any trips, gouges, or anything on the muzzle crown because that means you're going to have an inaccurate rifle, most likely. That's the number one thing you check on surplus rifles, by the way. There's a cleaning rod and the bayonet lug. It's a $300 rifle. It's a very accurate and well-made $300 rifle. Uh, I'm always going to stress, if you're not into the surplus rifle market, Take a good look at it. It's inexpensive ammo, and the rifles, even in the 21st century, they'll keep up with any modern-day rifle, for the most part. When you compare this rifle, $300, it's built for combat conditions. Uh, when you compare it to a $400 or $500 rifle with a scope, you may get more utility out of a rifle such as this. And keep in mind, a Mauser, you can scope pretty easily. In fact, there are scoped models out there. If you want to pay a little bit more, you can go ahead and get so anyway, there's my overview of the Mauser. Not overly technical, just wanted to cover some of the basics. Again, it's an awesome rifle. I hope to show you some videos real soon of this rifle in action, hitting some steel at various ranges. Uh, the key is, I hope the wind dies down around here. Here in Montana, this time of year, the wind sucks. So uh, bear with me. Hopefully the wind will die down enough where I can get out there and get some real serious shooting videos uh, done. So, all right, with that said, if you have any Mausers, post them up. It doesn't matter what uh, origin they are. Post up those Mausers. Post them as video responses. That way, when people watch this video, they can go down and go, hey, look, there's a Turkish Mauser. Here's a Car 98. They can start looking at the different models. Then they can get an idea of what exactly they want if they're really serious about getting a Mauser. So, all right, thanks a lot for watching. And as always, please stay safe.